if Barcelona offer 150 million, do you sell Coutinho this time round? Uh, you sell him uh, because Coutinho. I think you would lose Coutinho this time round. Basically, is what I'm saying. I think you that's don't let a fair point. You don't I, let him go. I think you lose him. I think that's a good point, though. That he, uh, you know, the, the way he's performed off the back of the disappointment of that transfer not happening. I mean, there's mm. many a player would have, and we've seen it, yeah. would have thrown the towel in. You know, popped up now and again. But you know, when he's been fit and available, he has looked no different to when it was two, three, four years ago when he was still playing the way he is. So I think it's a big credit to the player. But as Stevie said, if he's got his mind on it and maybe there's been a, a little promise from Klopp that if it comes around next year, we'll let it happen. If Liverpool do change their mind, as Stevie said, I, I think that's when you could you will probably lose the player. This kind of reminds me of the Ronaldo exiting Manchester United yeah. under, under Real Madrid's interest. So Alex Ferguson kept hold of him for the extra year and, and his, his quality didn't drop off at all. But then inevitably when clubs like Real Madrid or in this case Barcelona come calling, it, it's just too much for the, for the player to resist. And, um, and I think with Coutinho performing as, as well as he has, it's also good for Liverpool to show that kind of commitment that, OK, we kept hold of you, but now you're going to allow you to make this, this dream move. Ian, what do you think? Do you think Coutinho will be here next season? I think he's been a fantastic professional in all of this because he really, really wanted to go to Barcelona. I know that, having spoken to a few people at Liverpool, but he's knuckled down and he's got on with the job and I think he'll carry on doing that job for the rest of the season. And I wouldn't be surprised if Jurgen Klopp has said to him, look, give me another season here of everything you can do and then next summer we'll look after you. Because I think, yeah, the boys are right. They might lose him next summer if they continue to try to, to hold on to him. Of course, the other thing they need to do is get a new goalkeeper because Mignolet, mm. bless him, he's not good enough. Reports in England suggesting Manchester United have had a transfer bid turned down for the Argentinian international. Uh, this seems to fit United and what they're looking for, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely, 100%. And, and a very talented player. Was it not Dybala that was supposed to be the issue with Bonucci in the Champions League final? I think the only side of the coin is, is there, there's been a few issues, issues yeah. it would seem, in, in, around yeah. the club. Yes, yeah, so there's problems with his, maybe his focus going out. I know this is something that you never did in your playing day. <laughs> but... well, don't just look at me. There's another two set here. <laughs> <laughs> They're worse. <laughs> But I, you know, look, one Matt has been a great one Matt has been a great player in the Premier League with Chelsea and Manchester United. He's always done a job when asked. Uh, but I think Mourinho would prefer somebody else. And Mikatarian just hasn't cut the mustard for this particular manager. Not in a sense in terms of the way he played at Dortmund, and he clearly doesn't want him. So yeah, we are, I think it would be an excellent signing for Manchester United. We would have sat here and said similar things, maybe not the same talent, Mikatarian, but of course was superb in the Bundesliga, mm. yet came never really settled at Old Trafford. Would there be a concern this could happen again? Well, it will be if, if you don't play Dybala in his position, which is off the front. You know, you're buying Victorian after having a, an incredible season at Dortmund playing off the front, and then you go and stick him wide. Yeah. And then you wonder why it doesn't work out. Dybala's a fantastic player. If you play him off the front, I think he would be magnificent. But I just don't see... He has played, that. but he even, has played. Even he if he went bottom, he has played. Do you, do you really think he's going to play him off the front? He has front? played Mkhitaryan off the front quite a few times. But he never I gave don't him, think he, he feels never he got him enough time. He never gave him time to, oh, yeah. to settle into it and, and pretty much quickly no, give him one of them. So, great but, player, Dybala. Got to play him the, the right balance spot. for Juventus, I suppose, is that we know, we know how good Paolo Dybala mm -hmm. is, but his price is going to depreciate the more he sat on the bench. Yeah. If you know that there isn't a future for him at Juventus, there's got to be a time when you think, right, yeah, you know. Well, it's time at to cash at in. some point, I'm sure Juventus will decide to sell Paolo Dybala. I'm just not sure that it's this, this January. The fans wouldn't like it either, though, would they? Well, even, even aside from whether the fans approve of it or not, as we just mentioned, Juventus are trailing in a, in a title race, still have Champions League to come. Selling in January for Juventus, selling, selling a player of, of Dybala's talents, makes absolutely no sense from, from a Juventus perspective. Now, from a Manchester United point of view, it, it's great to have somebody of his quality coming in. It's great. I think Dybala adds to, to any squad almost in, in European football. Sure. So it, it makes sense for them. The question is, does Jose Mourinho play him in his preferred position? He spent a lot of money on Paul Pogba, and we can argue all day long as to whether he's playing in, in the best position for him. But regardless, regardless of position, regardless of who's in form or not, Dybala would grace that Manchester United squad, but I, I just don't see how or why Juventus let him go, not right now.
Ian, we've talked about Manchester United a lot on the show, especially the comments from Jose Mourinho about Manchester City spending a lot more money. He wants more money spent at United. What's the feeling amongst the fans that you talk to regarding, say, a push for a Paolo Dybala? Is there pressure on Ed Woodward to really break the bank in January to try and appease the fans? And I suppose, in particular, Mourinho as well. Yeah, I think so. And of course, the way Manchester City are going is adding a poignancy to that within the city. So they do want to try to bridge the gap somehow. Dybala, he's obviously a stylish player. There's something of the Roberto Baggio about him, I think. He's, he's a lovely player. For some reason or another, he's lost his way a little bit at Juventus. He's out of the team for big games. What I'm hearing is the Manchester United offer, you're never sure about these things, the story goes that it's about 60, 70 million pounds and that Juventus would want probably double that to make this happen. And I think the boys are right, it's Champions League, they've got to think about that. Mm. So I think if it does happen, you're talking about next summer. If Barcelona offer 150 million, do you sell Coutinho this time round? Uh, you sell him uh, because Coutinho, I think you would lose Coutinho this time round, basically is what I'm saying. I think you don't, that's let, a him fair point. You don't I, let him go. I think you'll lose him. I think that's a good point, though, that he, uh, you know, the way he's performed off the back of the disappointment of that transfer not happening. I mean, there's many a player would have, and we've seen it, yeah. would have thrown the towel in. You know, popped up now and again, but, you know, when he's been fit and available, he has looked no different to when it was two, three, four years ago when he was still playing the way he is, so I think it's a big credit to the player, but as Stevie said, if he's got his mind on it and maybe there's been a, a little promise from Klopp that if it comes around next year, we'll let it happen. If Liverpool do change their mind, as Stevie said, I, I think that's when you, could, you will probably lose the player. This kind of reminds me of the Ronaldo exiting Manchester United yeah. under, under Real Madrid's interest. So Alex Ferguson kept hold of him in for the extra year and, and his, his quality didn't drop off at all. But then inevitably when clubs like Real Madrid or in this case Barcelona come calling, it's just too much for the, for the player to resist. And, um, and I think with continued performing as, as well as he has, it's also good for Liverpool to show that kind of commitment that, OK, we kept hold of you, but now we're going to allow you to make this, this dream move. Ian, what do you think? Do you think Coutinho will be here next season? I think he's been a fantastic professional in all of this because he really, really wanted to go to Barcelona. I know that, having spoken to a few people at Liverpool, but he's knuckled down and he's got on with the job, and I think he'll carry on doing that job for the rest of the season. And I wouldn't be surprised if Jurgen Klopp has said to him, look, give me another season here of everything you can do, and then next summer we'll look after you. Because I think, yeah, the boys are right. They might lose him next summer if they continue to try to, to hold on to him. Of course, the other thing they need to do is get a new goalkeeper because Mignolet, mm. bless him, he's not good enough. Welcome into Extra Time. We're in our temporary, temporary studio. Yeah, what happened? The temporary camera's temporary. broken the other studio, so then we came here. Why well, couldn't just use these cameras? Just take these cameras into the studio. Oh, yeah, that's easy, Shaq. <laughs> you you see, the only boss. You see the logistics yeah. of that, Alex. <laughs> How do you feel about these, this studio, Stevie? I love these seats. Yeah, you look very good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel as though I'm in Disney World and I'm just about ready to get catapulted somewhere. Yeah, a bit of Space Mountain. Uh, something like that. Right. Is that what you do at Disney World? Get catapulted? Uh, oh, I guess. Stevie does. Yeah, but you never go down there, you often see him flying through the air. <laughs> yeah, like that. Oh, yes. oh, he's not well. No, he's not well, old Stevie. He's got a cold, but battling through. Uh, 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 battling through. Battling through. Who brought this cold in? Well, well, who brought uh, this cold uh, in? It's been passing know, around. I'm right. sick. No, well, I was sick. Him. He who's, started it. Who's caused it this? In. No. He gave it to him. Patient he zero. He was struggling yesterday. He gave it to me. The right. bad news, Shaka, you're in trouble tomorrow. Because you'll be getting... I'm off tomorrow. Yeah, well, matter. regardless, you've got it now. The flu <laughs> doesn't take any account when you're off. I'm going to come Dan's house. If I get sick, I'm coming yours. Come on, it'd be We're nice to see you. Chicken soup and orange That's juice. Lovely to see you. You know so how you come on. You're always welcome. You know how you gauge just how ill he is. You know that, didn't you? <laughs> I offered him a chocolate, that, Craig, and he turned it down. Well, it's, it's like a, you know how we have the gabometer for transfers. <laughs> yes. We have the foodometer. For Stevie, <laughs> you didn't want anything. Stevie. Well, he's not oh, eating yeah, anything. No. Wow. <laughs> that means it's like you know. Even, a, even Eleanor's mince and tatties. Oh. Wow. I'm going to be Are you going to have a beer tonight? No. What? what? I mean, that, that's, I mean, that's... That's it. That's keep your, keep, keep next you week call free. Call the ambulance. Keep next week free. Yeah, what, well, for the funeral? Well, yeah. Goodness <laughs> me. I mean, that's bad. I mean, he's like, can I have your golf clubs? No, I'm going to It's a rare event, that'll tell you. Well, there you go. Where are you going? Oh, just getting comfy. <laughs>
Right, let's do it. <laughs> Question for Stevie. Who's the best player in the Premier League this season? KDB, Salah, Kane, or anyone else? Um, the best player? I'll tell you... I don't know about the best, but I'll tell you who's the most surprising this year. Sterling. Mm. I mean, who would have seen the goal? That's not the question, is it, Steve? Well, everybody, everybody uses a different gauge to who's the best. Some people prefer guys that pass the ball, like a De Bruyne. Some people like players that What about that you? What do you goals. prefer? What do you prefer? Um, goals. Is that okay? Is that, is that who are you saying? I'm going to go with Sterling. Sterling's been the best player of the season. I'm going to go with Sterling. I didn't see it coming. Okay. All right, then. Next question. Steve, you brag about Pogba's price tag all the time, and all of a sudden we should forget about the price of VVD. Isn't it amazing how people just make up nonsense? I never said that at all. That's a lot of garbage. <laughs> I, I heard you bragging. That's bragging. a lot of nonsense. <laughs> I heard you bragging. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it? we might have said... <laughs> we might have said you expect a higher level of performance for somebody that costs 100 million. We might have said that. We would have kept banging on about 100 million. So you're making it up. What's his name? Bruce Keith Punchwar? You're making it up, pal. Right. <laughs> send, me the, send me the tape. Okay. All right, then. He's angry. He is angry. Uh, angry. I think it's these seats. He's angry. I think it's these seats are making it. <laughs> hey, listen, if I've said something, then that's fine, but I didn't say that. Uh, all right. Are you surprised that there hasn't been news of ageing names going to MLS recently? Is it good or bad for the league? Well, that ageing players aren't coming yeah, to MLS? Yeah, retirement league tag, I suppose they're trying to get rid of, aren't they? Well, it's good that the league isn't being linked with, with ageing players. I, yeah. I, I think the league has, has moved past that a, a long time ago. Yeah. Um, a couple of re recent acquisitions suggest that... What, they Pirlo, Lampard, not... Gerrard, never should, should, none should of them worked no. out. David Villa worked out very well. Yes, he, but you know, at the same time, he's, he's a, a bit of an outlier in, in, in that circle. Um, I, I think MLS needs to go for younger players. Yeah. Whether European, Central or South American, doesn't matter, but the old aging players, I, I, I don't think it's You were part of that league. old aging players, yeah, weren't you? I, yeah, mm -hmm. they, they should have stopped just before me, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> That's it, we're done. Uh, have a lovely weekend. Enjoy your New Year's wherever you'll be celebrating it. Uh, just